This is the seventh in a series of training bytes covering the control and customization of UVM reports. If we haven't already, we recommend you take the first training byte on the basic terminology and functionality of reports, which also includes extra information on message defines and some basic guidelines. But in this training byte, we're going to show you how to modify the report characteristics and also the output format of a report using a custom report server. So if you want to change the appearance of your reports, if you want to change the output report format, or if you want to output your reports in a specific format, such as XML, then a report server can help you. And we'll show you how in this training byte. First of all, we need to be clear what we're trying to do here. If you just want to change the report characteristics, but you're happy with the formatting, then you probably need a report catcher instead of a server. This allows you to change any characteristic, and you can apply multiple catchers to different parts of your hierarchy, but you can't change the output formatting using a catcher. And again, we covered catchers in previous training bytes in this series. If you want to change the report format for live debug during the course of a simulation, uh, then you'll need a report server. This allows you to change any characteristic, but also reformat the report output. The only disadvantage being you can only have one report server in effect at a time. If, however, you are happy to do offline debug and you want to change the report formatting for that, then your best choice is probably a, a Perl script or something like that, which is beyond the scope of this training byte. So the problem is that the report servers have changed between UVM 1.1 and UVM 1.2. Let's show you UVM 1.1 implementation first. So here we need to declare a new class called MyServer, which extends from the UVM report server class, and we need to overload the function compose message. This returns a string, which will be the new format for our output of our reports. Now, compose message takes all the characteristics of the report passed in as separate arguments, uh, with a notable exception of verbosity, and we need to be careful with the severity argument. This is passed in via the type uvm underscore severity, and it needs to be cast to the uvm severity type class in order to use the name. And then we can use a $s format f here and some format specifiers to produce the uh, report output in the new format that we require. Of course, then we need to set this as the new server, so we create a handle on your uh, MyServer class. Here, typically in a test class, you create an instance of your custom server, and then you make that the new server class by calling the setServerStatic method of the UVM report server class. And from the moment you execute the set, you're going to be using the new format for the output of your reports. Now, you may want to save a handle on the original report server. Perhaps you want to swap back to that at a later date. And you can do that by calling the static method getServer of the UVM report server class and storing it in a, in a temporary handle. In this case here, the old server handle of UVM report server. So fairly easy in UVM 1.1D. Let's see how we implement a custom report server in UVM 1.2. So several ways of doing this in UVM 1.2. Perhaps the easiest way is to extend our custom report server from the UVM default report server class. And now we need to override a function called compose report message. And this takes all the characteristics of the report through as a single argument of type UVM report message named report message and we can extract the information from that argument. Now, the nice thing in UVM 1.2 is there's no need to cast either the verbosity or the severity. We can extract the information directly off the report message argument. To get the scope, however, we need to do a little trick where you get the report object first from the report message argument and then call get full name on that. And once we have all the information we need, we can then construct a new string for the output format we require. Now, one thing we're doing here, if the severity is equal to uvm underscore info, we're not printing the severity, we're going to print the verbosity instead. But if the report is of any other severity, then we'll just print the severity. Nice thing about this is I like to be able to see the verbosity of my info messages, because the verbosity should be telling us how important that message is. And therefore, it's a useful information to see in your report output. 
So there's the declaration of our custom report server. And again, we use it in a, pretty much the same way as in UVM 1.1D. You need to create an instance of your server. You can now pass it in a separate name if you want, and then call the set server static argument of UVM report server to set your current server as the new report server. And then from the execution of the set, you'll be using your new format output. Now, don't notice here that um, if they are messages are of UVM underscore info severity, we are going to print the verbosity instead of the severity as we declared in our custom report server. And again, useful extra information to have. Now in UVM 1.2 you can also print the server and that gives us some additional information. So this is the output of printing the server. So this gives us a uh, count of all the severity reports generated and also all of the IDs and there's some additional properties built into the default report server. Now you check the documentation for how these work but we're going to have a look at one of these which is show verbosity. So what we can do is I can create an instance just of the UVM default report server here called def SRV. I can set def SRV as the new report server and I can change the show verbosity property of that report server to one. And what this does is it now automatically prints out the verbosity as part of the standard report output and it's done in brackets after the severity. So this is quite nice. So again, I like to see the verbosity of the messages. They should tell us the importance of your UVM info messages. And again, additional information, which is helpful to see. So this was the last in our training bytes, looking at the control and customization of UVM reports. I hope you found it useful. Mm -hmm.